Hey guys, we're about to do this very simple but very glamorous uh, makeup look. It's extremely simple as you can see and let's just get into the video. So I'm going to say hi again. My name is Naninga. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, don't forget to subscribe because I always post videos like this. So why not? So the first thing that I'm going to do is definitely my eyebrows as usual. And I'm just taking a spoolie and brushing them up. Of course, this is not a makeup tutorial. As the title suggests, it's a get ready with me video. So you can take some stuff from this video or you can leave it. I'll be happy to do, to help you do both. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, so I'm just basically uh, drawing um, little strokes of lines using a dark brown pencil because I feel that dark brown looks more natural than black you know jet black black looks really really unnatural but sometimes i do use a black pencil and then what i'm doing right now is applying an eyebrow mascara which is basically just an eyebrow wax by the brand pastel so this pastel um eyebrow mascara i remember i got it off jumia it has stayed with me for a really long time and then next i'm just going to define my eyebrows for those of you who are curious or those who already know you know that eyebrow definition is actually just highlighting your eyebrows to make them more visible by applying a lighter color or a lighter shade of concealer under or above your eyebrows so i'm going to do like half my upper eyebrow and completely my entire lower eyebrows and then i'm just going to take a brush to smooth that in to make it blend into my skin so that we don't have very very harsh lines and then i'm gonna go back in with a spoolie and just pull up um, the brows after applying the wax again yeah so that they can be more pronounced um of course you're wondering why i'm dwelling so much on the eyebrows it's because eyebrows define your face they give you the structure of your face and therefore it's very very important to do them don't ever ignore your eyebrows if there's anything you should just do it should just be your eyebrows and then um next i've just applied a concealer and the concealer that i'm using is a maybelline concealer fit me concealer in the shade caramel then i'm just dabbing a brush uh all over the, my eyelid to you know spread the concealer i believe i was using the makeup revolution palette um the marvelous matte palette uh, to to the eyeshadows that i'm using and i've just taken an orange shade it doesn't have any names for their shades so it's just like an orange dark sort of rust colored orange shade and i've just applied it all over my eyelids and then the next color that i'm going to take is another light i believe i did use a light orange shade no not light orange i used a really dark shade almost black shade just to create like a smoky effect and so what i'm using is i'm just creating like sort of a wing that i'll use to smoke out later on and then now i'm just taking another brush which is a bit fluffier to just spread out this the the color now this brush that i'm using right now doesn't have any color on it so i'm just using like this specific brush just to spread out the color just to create like a smoky effect if you understand what i mean and then I'm, i've also taken like that orange shade that i used before and i'm just using it to smoke it even further and that is what you're seeing right now right now i'm using as you saw the brushes changed if you are very observant yeah and then now i'm taking a really light orange shade again and I'm just applying it in the inner corner of my eye. As you can see, the way it looks. Yeah. So make sure you really, really dab that um, inner shade uh, so that, okay, I'm really using a small packed brush so that it can carry more product so that the colors can be more visible. Yeah. And then after that, because this is not a cut crease, for those of you who know what a cut crease is, we are going to blend it all in so i've just taken like a fluffy brush and i'm just blending it all in and then after that i'm going in with a an orange glitter shade now these orange glitters are not from that marvelous matte palette they're just uh, from another palette that i got off aliexpress it doesn't have a name and then i'm going in with this maybelline colossal kajal agan oil 
in extra black and i'm using it to line my waterline and as i told you a tip if you want your eyes to really really stand out don't just line your lower waterline alone also line your upper waterline that way your eyes will be extraordinarily standing out as you're going to see most people just line their lower waterline but i feel like if you line both your upper and lower waterline your eyes will stand out now before i put on my false lashes i'm going to take mascara and i'm going to apply a coat on my lower lashes only because um we don't want to leave our lower lash line bare i'm just going to apply a coat of mascara and i'm using the maybelline colossal mascara yeah in the shade black so that's just what i'm using and what i've applied on my eyes that is white that you can see is just eyelash glue um the type of eyelash glue that i have actually allows you to apply direct to your eyes yeah just make sure that no product enters your eyes and now for the real struggle which is actually putting on the lashes you know that it's not really an easy task but we've managed to do one and we've also managed to do the second one yeah then we let the eyelash glue dry down it normally dries down to a clear color so it does look white but it is actually clear in real sense and then i'm just going to use the maybelline fit me primer uh the clay mattifying primer which has like a clay base and i'm just going to apply it all over my face because i want to do a matte finish uh, this specific primer is really good for matte finishes yeah then i'm just tapping it in yeah wiping and tapping and then before i do my foundation today i'm going to start with my concealer and i'm using the maybelline superstay concealer in the shade i believe it was uh, i've forgotten the shade but honey i'm so sorry guys today i'm a bit confused in the shade honey and i'm just tapping in um yeah using a brush but definitely brushes don't do really really well if you want to do a perfect job so i normally start by tapping in with a brush and then i go in with a damp beauty blender yeah beauty blender is that sponge that i'm using for those of you who are not aware of what a beauty blender is sometimes we take these names for granted we just you know i hear beauty gurus like just saying like take your beauty blender take your what not everyone knows what a beauty blender is not everyone knows what um you know whatever you're using is so it's just good like to remind people of exactly what you're using and then the foundation that i'm using is the maybelline superstay foundation in the shade coconut just plain coconut not warm coconut and uh, i felt like this is the maybelline shade that is closest to my skin because i have tried a lot of maybelline shades yeah uh it may not be the perfect one for my skin but it's really really close so i'm just tapping it in with a brush you can also use a beauty blender i feel like a beauty blender also does a really good finish like when it comes to applying foundation better than a brush but sometimes i do like to alternate and next i'm just going to take the sasha buttercup setting powder and i'm going to apply it below my eyes uh, on my chin basically the areas that i want to highlight the areas that i want to like look more visible on my face at first glance those are the areas i'm going to apply and that's like my forehead my nose under my eyes my chin on top of my lips and then now i'm going to take i'm just going to highlight my cheekbones and the highlighter that i'm using for this particular fit is actually the crayola um, what is it called the crayola um, mango it's the shade mango tango it's just a lip and cheek color so that's the shade mango tango which happens to have some shimmers in it it's like orange with shimmers in it and then i'm just going to tap that uh, mango tango in with a beauty blender because it has not been blended in as you saw the applicator is really thin yeah so i just like kind of apply strokes and then pat it in with a beauty blender but it does give a really really beautiful sheen i like it uh crayola i didn't expect that i'd actually like this crayola products but they are really good and then next i'm just going to prime my lips and the primer i'm using is not a real lip primer i'm just using a concealer i'm using the maybelline concealer that i used on my eyes and then now i'm going to take a pencil just a dark brown piece pencil and i'm going to line my lips uh 
with a dark brown pencil before I apply the lipstick and I'm doing a really neutral lip because our eyes are glitzy I don't want my face to be too much uh, too much of a product is not really good so I'm just going to apply like that Luron um, that's a Luron lipstick not L'Oreal Luron Kenyans know the company Luron it's really kind of tough to apply but I love the color this specific color which is dark chocolate I'm also looking for similar like colors from other companies but I haven't seemed to find like this specific dark chocolate and it has like that old school matte finish yeah not like the matte mattes that we have nowadays and I'm just going to overline my lips like the kids are doing it nowadays I know I was used to drawing an X on my filter but now we are not drawing an X we are overlining our lips <laughs> yeah and then after overlining our lips like that, I am also going to go in with like a lighter shade of lipstick. I believe I did go in even with a lighter shade already. It was a Maybelline lipstick. Um, in the shade As Barely Nude. And you know the rule of thumb when it comes to makeup. Make sure you blend, 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 blend. Everything is blend, blend. As you can see, I've blended all those lipsticks and they look gorgeous and they look amazing. But we're not yet through with our lips. I'm going to go in with this LA Colors. Um, I believe that was an LA Colors lipstick that I was using. Uh, the shade, I can't, I'm not very sure what was the name of the shade. But I'll probably link it in the description box below. And then I'm going to go in with this really, um, I've really stayed for long with this, what is it called? That gloss and it's a Victoria's Secret gloss. Yeah, in the shade Very Ice, I believe. And I, I just applied it only around my lips. And then now I'm going to contour my nose, if I'm not wrong. Yes, the nose has to be contoured because we cannot leave our nose like that. And I'm just going to use a Makeup Revolution um, contour shade, in the shade Dark. And that's the one I'm using to contour my nose. Yeah, so when it comes also to the contour after you've just drawn like your contour lines, make sure that you thoroughly blend because everything has to be blended. Otherwise, you'll just look like you've just drawn on your face. Yeah, and there's some looks that are actually for the daytime, some are for nighttime, some are for evening, some are for, you know, this can be like an evening look or a nighttime look. I feel like it's, the eyes are a bit too much for like a daytime look. Yeah. So, but definitely the lips can pass for a daytime look. So I'm just going to take off all the powder that I had, you know, used for setting. And then after taking off all that powder, I'm going to take like um, a setting powder and I'm going to apply the powder all over my face. And the setting powder that I'm using is the Maybelline Superstay setting powder in the shade Coconut also. It's the same shade as the foundation that I used. So I'm just going to apply it all over my face. As you guys can see, there is a slight discrepancy in my skin and that foundation. But I feel like it's the one that is closest so far that I've used um to my skin shade if you have a similar skin shade to me i think the clinique spice if i can get a maybelline foundation that is similar to the clinique shade spice that would be the shade for me yeah and then now i'm just going to use highlighter and um, the highlighter that i'm using on top of the other crayola highlighter is actually a nyx highlighter and it's in the shade golden hour and that is your final look guys i am so grateful that you've reached this point in the video make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in my next video you can also check out my other videos bye